today. From FedEx Field in Landover, Maryland, it's week two of the NFL on EA Sports. come to you from FedEx Field here in Landover. Today, after a crazy opening weekend, it's on to week two, and we've got a good one here between the Atlanta Falcons and the Washington Commanders. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. And Charles, you talk about this commander's team coming into play here today. They were winners last time out, so they'll be looking, Charles, to make it two in a row. And what I enjoyed when I watched their game tape and their victory last week is they put it together in every phase. Good offense, good defense, and some key plays on special teams. Let's see if they can get that second win in a row. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28. So here come the Falcons now to get the football for the first time. And a glance here at their shifty mobile signal caller. This is what this man was born for, the big spotlight on a national stage like this. Really, his entire career has demonstrated incredible poise no matter what type of situation his team was in. No situation is too big for him, and you can tell in the way that he takes the field. His self-belief is evident, and he gets the job done in his mind each and every time. To throw on second down. Rich firing quickly, but it's incomplete. They come up now third and five following the incomplete pass. Now a shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. He finds his man complete. It's Stanley. And he's able to get this to the 40-yard line before he's out of bounds. The Falcon passing game looking good on this drive as they get the first down. I think the good offensive coordinators of the league now are looking at the fullback position and finding the right guys to hide in that spot and increase their passing game, as we just saw there. How about the run after catch? Racked him. Well, yeah, whether it's a true fullback, a tight end, you put in the fullback spot, you know they're going to be tough to bring down if you can get them the football in the passing game. And they're going to work this down to about the 32-yard line. The Falcons at 1-0 and on the year following the win in week one, and they were able to take care of business in front of the home crowd last week. Yeah, it's always nice to get that opener at home, but now things get a little bit tougher. The good thing for them, though, is they take a little extra confidence with them when they head out on the road. And this throw incomplete. And the defender all over him that time, but it's going to lead to third down. Trying to keep the drive going here. This is play number seven on third and two. One back in the backfield, he'll get the carry. And he's able to pick up the first down here before he goes down at the 26. The seventh play now of this opening drive. This is third and long, though. Looking to throw. Rich, throw left side complete. That's Stanley. And boy, he is very close to a first down, but from where they're spotting that football, he's going to be a foot or so short. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And that's going to bring up a fourth down. Interesting decision here. Opening drive, Charles, fourth and short. You're in field goal range. We'll see what they do. I just shake a fist at my offense and say, go get it, guys, because if you can't pick up fourth and short here, we're probably in trouble the rest of the game. Show some confidence. Show some aggressiveness. Go pick it up. 
He only punted twice in the win last week as he gets this one away. Let's go old school there. That's absolutely a great coffin corner punt. Someone's put some time in working on that, hasn't it? Seems he? like every year these guys get better and better. It's amazing how they can command that football through the air. Yeah, they used to actually practice with hula hoops where they place them and try and put them there. Now a lot of guys use barrels on the sidelines to try and put the football in one. Throwing on first down, Rouse. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And that'll leave him with a second and just a few inches left. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. Second and inches is oftentimes an invitation for an offense coordinator to take a big shot downfield because he feels like he can come back on third down and pick up the first down. But sometimes you just don't want to break tendency. Stay with what you are, stay with who you know, and go get the first down. That's exactly what they did. So they'll come up after the gain of seven on a second and three. Well, they'll run it here on the jet sweep. A short gain here, maybe a yard to the 29. But defensively, they had that one pretty well figured out. Yeah, and one of the things about this play, it can be even more effective when you run a lot of motion and there's plenty of times you don't hand it off. A couple extra tight ends in the formation here as they line up third and two. One back in the backfield, he'll get the carry. And he's going to have a commander's first down. It's a gain of six that time on third and two. On third down, that's a good job of situational football and understanding where the first down marker was and getting there. to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Back to throw. Rouse. A quick throw knocked away and incomplete. Nice progress down the field was halted by that incompletion. They could try for some safe yards here to get things moving again or keep throwing it and pushing it downfield to try and pick up bigger yardage. And second and 10, he'll look to throw again. Nothing open downfield, so he'll throw it away. Here comes the eighth play of the drive, and they need a full 10 yards on third down. Looking to throw. Rouse, this is intercepted. And the Falcons are going to take possession of the football. And I think this is a situation where a quarterback coach on the sideline is going to talk to a signal caller and say, listen, it's third and long, and it's still early in the game. Let's not force things here. If we don't feel good about it, let's just check something down and pump the football. So for the second time in this one, we get set to see the Falcons' offense. They'll have very good starting field position here after the turnover as they search for the first points of the ball game. A nice burst there as they'll get about seven that time on the first down run. These are his numbers from last week's contest. 21 carries, 126 yards. Leading the league in rushing after week one, you know he'd love to double down and continue that type of play here in week two. Looking to throw on second down. Rich, and they're going to move it down inside the 25. Well, starting drive number two off on the right foot. Completion for the first down. Drive one is the, they had to be pretty frustrating because they moved the football. They just didn't get any points out of it. But warm up QB two, let's bring in the backup. I mean, my goodness, you take them down, you don't score points. You know I'm being totally facetious here, right? I'm just kidding. Nice first drive. Rarely do teams score on every single drive in a game, but they like what they did there. They just hope they can pay it off this time with some points. Oh, that's a real nice job there by the defensive front. They just engaged and held their ground. But how about the guy who made the play? We often talk about whether they take a good first step or not. 
Many times, you just don't take any step. Just get your feet moving, get your body going. And then once he made the read, he was able to make the play. On third down, Rich. And he's got his man in stride, complete. And he is going to have a Falcons first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. This offense is starting to get into rhythm. A nice quick throw there on target, able to pick up another first down. From down at the 12, it's first and 10. From the shotgun, he'll look to throw. And this is caught for a Falcon touchdown. A great effort there. His second touchdown on the season. And the Falcons use the early turnover to get on the board first here in this one. Good start to the season for him. He had the touchdown last week in the opener and a second one in week two now. How about the pace he's already established, right? Not sure he can keep it up for an entire season, but don't burst the bubble because he thinks that he can. Do guys go into a season with a goal for touchdown scored or yardage? What do you think? I think every single one of the guys who's going to touch the football, they all have those types of goals. They all have those types of thoughts. And then they just have to see how the season unfolds if they can stay with it. Unfolding so far so good for him. Extra point splits the uprights, and it's now a 7-0 game. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. Johnson won't return this, and the football will come out to the 25. Now Washington going to retake the field for drive number two. They had the interception last time. It led to the opening touchdown. So now 7-0 the score as they start first and 10. They'll start this drive out on the ground. And he's going to be dropped following a pickup of 7 past the 30 to the 32. They'll operate from the 32-yard line here, second and three. Back to throw. Rouse. First connection there of the afternoon for those two, and it's good for a first down. One back in the backfield. He'll get the carry. And this play will be blown up. He'll lose yardage back at the 38. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. That's about as good as a linebacker can diagnose that play, isn't it? It certainly is, and what he did really well is that while he was diagnosing, he got his feet in motion without actually going anywhere and taking a false step that he had to make up later. He read it, got his feet in motion, and then he just took off and made the play. To throw on second down, Rouse. Yeah, a quick throw here, that's complete. That'll give him eight that time. And this will wind up being a third and three. And they'll try and run the option to pick it up. And this is not going to be enough. Was in search of two yards and only got halfway there. Fourth and short, partner. I mean, this would be a really risky call. Here we are in the first quarter. On They're your own side of the own field. Own side of the field. But boy, what a tone setter that would be to go for it and get it, wouldn't it? You're gritty today. I like it. I'm feeling it. Washington going to send out their punter as he's on to punt for the first time this afternoon. They'll get off a fairly short kick here as this is toward the sideline. Now the Falcons offense, they get ready to head back out here. They've got a 7-0 lead in the football as well as they start out first and 10. Throwing to start the drive. Rich, he completes it to Wilson. Give him a gain of five on the completion, and it'll be second down. Looking to throw. Rich escaping the pressure right. Oh, hit as he throws there, incomplete. 
They come up now third and five following the incomplete pass. Operating from the gun, Rich. He finds his man complete. That's Ferguson. And he'll be tackled on the other side of midfield at the 46-yard line. A bad time for a roughing penalty, and they get the gift of a first and ten. Back to throw. Rich, and a completion to Wilson. And he's brought down here just outside of the 20. play fake rich wide open receiver complete and all the way down inside the five to the four that one good for 17 yards and now they've got it first and goal their fullback getting the carry and he gets in touchdown Atlanta it's the fullback his second rushing touchdown on the year and the Falcons are off to a 13 nothing first quarter lead so this offensive unit yeah they were solid in the opening week victory and now they are looking just as sharp here in week two and that's exactly what you want too because you want to get better each and every week and really ramp up as the season goes on I know it's still early in the season and a lot can happen but this offense they look like they're going to be fun to watch each and every time out now the try here for the point after And it's good, and they have jumped out here to a quick 14-0 first quarter lead. Five plays there on that drive, and it results in a four-yard touchdown run. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. Johnson won't return this, and the football will come out to the 25. And the Washington offense going back to work. They've been outplayed early, no question. Down 14-0 already as they come up first and 10. Throwing to start the drive. Rouse. And he will find his man on the outside. And he'll get this up past the 25 before he's out of bounds. The numbers for him from a week ago, eight catches, 96 yards. That was a nice job there pulling that one in. Now, this is an offense that will certainly spread the ball around a bit, and this is a guy that defenses had better focus on. And he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. A yard in the wrong direction makes third down tougher. Third down and nine. We think, Brandon, I like the intensity this defense is showing right here in these first few drives. They're not just holding the line because they're doing their job, but they're doing more than that, aren't they? They're getting a nice push into the offensive backfield. And a great example right there for the loss on the tackle. to throw on third down. Rouse, and they're able to get this one across the 35. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. from the gun. Rouse. Quick hitter here. It's complete. And a five-yard gain gets him to the 42. A gain of five. Up second 
Looking to throw on second down. Rouse, his throw incomplete. They come up now third and five following the incomplete pass. Looking to throw. Rouse. And it's a short one here, complete to his tight end. And he's going to have a commander's first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. From Falcon territory now, here's first and 10 at the 47. to throw. Rouse. And they're going to get this down near the 35-yard line. Back-to-back -back nice plays. 12 yards that time and a first down. Fourteen nothing the score. This is the NFL on EA Sports. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. Looking to throw. Rouse firing quickly here, and that's complete. Yeah, this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. In so many ways, throwing the hitch route is actually one of the safer things an offense can do. Get the ball out to the receiver as fast as possible. Hope he's got man-to-man -man coverage and hope that his athleticism wins on the perimeter. from the gun they'll try to run it and he's dropped just before the line to gain four yard pickup leaves him with third and one well they certainly had success throwing the ball on this drive and not as much running it as we just saw once again on that last play stopped after a very short game but i wouldn't abandon the run totally because otherwise pass rushers just tee off on your quarterback makes it very very difficult for him in that situation and it's a short one here complete to the tight end and that's going to be good for another first down as the tackle's made at the Falcons' 15-yard line. They only needed one yard on third down. They get 10 instead by going to the air. Seems as if the passing attack's starting to heat up a little bit here in the second quarter. You can sense and you can see the momentum because now they're reading their patterns downfield, they're understanding the coverages, and they're finding the open holes in the defense. On first down, they'll go to the ground attack. And they get to it quickly here as he stopped right around the 13. The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. Operating from the gun. Rouse. It'll be a gain of five. And now it's third and three. Operating from the gun, Rouse. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. It'll go as a gain of six that time, and it moves the chains as well. You want to put together a long drive? You've got to be able to convert on third down, and they've done exactly that on this one. Sure enough, came up with another conversion right there. So another third down conversion, and now they've got a first and goal. Back to throw. Rouse. And that is caught. Touchdown, Washington. A great play there. His first touchdown of the new season. And the Commanders are back within a score. And all about timing there on that short slant, Charles. Exactly right. That was timed up so well. The route, the throw, touchdown. A try here for the extra point. And that one makes it 14-7. to seven. That one was an extended drive. 14 plays all told. And the result, a touchdown for Washington. Kick team out there for the Commanders as they send this one away. Taking it about the one. 
And he returns this to the 22. Here comes the Atlanta offense now ready to take over here. So both of these teams, Charles, coming off touchdowns now, but this offense, they just had to stand on the sideline, watch their opponent author a really impressive drive to reach the end zone. Yeah, and I think you're not telling yourself the truth if you don't think there's some one-upsmanship going on right now because they just had their touchdown answered by a drive of double-digit plays that also found the end zone. Now they want to do something even more impressive to answer that one. To throw on second down. Rich, he finds his man complete. That's Ferguson. Third catch of this first half for him, and this one is a first down. One back in the backfield, he'll get the carry. And he'll be tackled right on the chalk of the 45. It's a gain of 13 and a first down for Atlanta. We really didn't have any doubt that he was going to be one of the top-rated rookies coming into the league, especially as a runner, and he's given us no reason to change our minds. That's a big-time run, and the production that he showed us in college is translating very well into the National Football League. Working with a lead, trying to get to 2-0. and Here's first and 10. From the shotgun now, here's an inside give. And a minimal gain here as he's up to about the 47-yard line. Looking to throw on second down. Rich firing quickly, but it's incomplete. The Falcons on third down. They've been good, three for four thus far. This is third and eight. Looking to throw. Rich got his man complete over the middle. It's Ferguson. And he'll only get this to the 47. He needed a few more yards to pick up the first. Falcons send out their punter as he'll punt it away for the second time. And the punt over the side in the air and the spot will be inside the 35. The Washington offense back out there. The offense running out and they are charged up ready to go after reaching the end zone on their last drive. And normally I'd warn against getting complacent just because they scored the last time out. But I don't think there's any worries with this group right now. This is a hungry group, and they want to keep building off of their last drive. Now they just want the officials to hurry up and place the ball so they can snap it and get back to work. To throw on second down. Rouse. And that falls to the ground incomplete. A nice job of bodying him up defensively, and now it brings up third down. On third down, they're going to run for it here. And good vision there as he's across midfield and down to the 45-yard line. 15 yards to pick up, first down Washington. After he cleared the line of scrimmage, nice little hole developed. Yeah, yeah, great blocking right there at the start. But how about his vision, finding the open spaces and letting his feet carry him to him? A short one here, complete to his tight end. Back to throw now on second and ten. And he'll be brought down just shy of the 40. And now time will be called here as Washington has an injured player down on the field. Well, now they're going to come out and take a look at this injury, and we'll be back in a moment. And they'll need to get to the 35 if they want to keep this drive going on third down. 
back to throw. Rouse. Oh, it's a screen pass. That's complete. And he got blown up. Losing yardage on the play back at the 44. The whole idea of the screen pass is to fool the defense in a big way and create a big play. They weren't fooled. Not one <laughs> second, not one bit. How about them figuring it out, diagnosing it, and spilling it for lost yardage? Washington going to send out their punter as he's on here to punt it away. That'll be out of bounds, and how good was that? They'll say the three-yard line. That's where they spot it. That is how you flip field position. That's an absolute bomb of a punt. Downs it inside the five-yard line. Absolutely ideal. From that position, you're hoping to get it down inside the 15, inside the five. Superb. They'll start on the ground here on first down. And from the four, they get it to the eight on a pickup of four. Looking to throw on second down. Rich, and he's got his big wide receiver complete. They'll give him four yards there. And now that sets up third and two. Off play action. Rich. It's brought in by Wilson. And he's able to get this one all the way past the 30. Well, they were in search of a short gain on third down, and they wind up nabbing over 20 yards. Normally on third down and short yardage, you're thinking to throw to your tight end. It's just going to be a simple chain mover. But this time they let him roam down the field, and a nice dart picks up the first down and then some. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. One back in the backfield, he'll get the carry. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. The last run got nine. That leaves him with second and a yard. And they'll keep leaning on the running game. Back to the ground. And he'll get up to the 43-yard line. A couple of first downs has the football positioned at the 43 as they come up first and 10. Looking to throw. Rich caught. It's Wilson. So five yards here, five on the play. And that will bring up second down. Well, they were unable to make anything really big out of that, but it's not a bad idea to find your tight end and give him an easy completion and keep moving things forward. Almost as bread and butter as a good running back dive play. Hands it off out of the gun, and he's got it across the midfield, striping into Washington territory. This will be play number eight here on the drive. It's third and a yard. Back to throw. Rich and finding the tight end Wilson. And he is going to have a Falcons first down and comfortably so as he gets five there on third and a yard. Looking to throw. Rich eluding the pressure right. He finds his man complete. It's Jacobs. And the tackle going to be made at the 38. To throw on second down. Rich. And this is caught. A spectacular one-handed grab there. So two of two on third down conversions on this drive, and now they face a third and three here. On the move to his left, and he can't find anywhere to go with it, and he goes down. And that'll bring up fourth down on the big sack with a loss of five. Two-minute mark in the second quarter, 14 to seven. The Falcons send out their punter. 
as he'll come on to kick this one away. He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. And they'll play keep away from the returner as this one will be marked out of bounds at the 13-yard line. Pretty good spot. The Washington offense set to take over again. As we eat closer and closer to intermission, Charles, remember last time out they punted. They would love to get points here, especially if this is going to be their final possession of the first half. Yeah, and this is what close games feel like because the pressure is on both sides, but sometimes the pressure is a little bit higher on the team with the slight edge because they're trying to hold on to that, trying to increase it. Let's see how this one continues. Clock running as Washington will try and hurry up. And he fires one that's intercepted. And the Falcons are going to take possession of the football. He had his eyes on the end zone. He got close. At least he set the offense up nicely, but he's probably mad he didn't take that one to pay dirt. I agree with you. And you know he's going to get teased because he didn't get it all the way into the end zone. But if they don't score now, if they don't get a touchdown, he won't just get teased. They'll be glaring at him. How'd you not score? Suddenly it's first and goal after the interception. A quick change in the situation here. Back to throw. Rich to the goal line, but it's incomplete. A line of scrimmage once again, the five as they get ready for second and goal. Looking to throw. Rich flush. Touchdown, Falcons! A great effort there with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Falcons are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. In the second quarter and already his second touchdown reception. Absolutely the definition of a difference maker here in this first half. Clearly one of his quarterback's favorite targets in this game. And I figure he's going to draw a little more attention and coverage moving forward. Now the extra point. It's good, and it is now 21-7. to They have the short field, and they made quick work of it. Just two plays to get into the end zone. Atlanta's 11 ready to go, and they kick it away. And he'll be stopped up at the 25. And Washington going to come back out here to take over offensively. And Charles, we'll see what they can do here. Not a ton of time left, but enough certainly to get points out of this drive. And they need them right now because they're trailing. Yeah, and this is exactly why you practice a two-minute drill all through camp and at least one practice each week before a game. A minute left, more than enough time to string a few completions together, reach the end zone, and then make that walk back to the locker room just a little more animated. First down now, but that clock rolling. Operating from the gun, Rouse. And they'll get this down to around the 47-yard line. And Washington now going to use the first of their three timeouts as the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. And a quick throw here. That's complete. Now another timeout called for by the offense as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. On first and 10, Rouse, and he's going to be down at the 35, gain of seven. Looking to throw on second down, Rouse. And they'll work this down inside the 30. And offensively, they'll take the timeout with six seconds left in the second quarter. So even though it's first down, here's the field goal unit on now to try to get three before halftime. And his kick is absolutely perfect. And that will get the disadvantage now back down to 11. So a big play before the end of the half to get them into this spot, and they cash in with three. How about the one-two to the solar plexus on that one? The big play, the field goal, 
Not much time left on the clock. That's the way to go into the half. So we have reached halftime now with the visiting Falcons out on top as we'll get you down the coast to Orlando for Jonathan Coachman in our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Okay, Brandon, we'll get you back to you and Charles in a bit, but first it's time for a trip around the NFL following an eventful opening weekend. Let's see what's happening in week two. We'll get started over at the Superdome in New Orleans, and it's the Jaguars who have the lead in the second quarter. The Jags locked in a tight one, but this is a game you feel they've got to have. From there, we're off to check out another game, and it's the visiting L.A. Chargers who are out in front. The Chargers already 1-0, trying to make it two straight as they lead on the road. Lastly, we head to the Gulf Coast and check on the Bucks at home in Tampa, and they have the lead in that one over the visiting Philadelphia Eagles. The Buccaneers still in a dogfight, but this would be a good victory for them if they could get it. Meanwhile, in our game, it's been a back and forth first half. Who can put it together in the second half? For the answer, we turn it back over to our broadcast team of Brandon God and Charles Davis. Okay, Coach, thanks as always to you and the gang in Orlando as we welcome everyone back in for quarter number three. Out of the end zone comes Johnson. And tackled at the 21-yard line, so a net negative there of four yards. Here come the Commanders for the first possession of the third quarter. This offense, Charles, had a strong first half throwing the football, at least in terms of yardage, but that hasn't translated so far on the scoreboard as they begin the third quarter here trailing and looking for a little momentum. Yeah, you're right about that because, you know, let's face it, in the first half, most of their focus was in the passing game, and to their credit, resulted in a healthy amount of yardage. So I would think that at halftime, they're going to anticipate that defense loosening up a little bit to try and cover the passing lanes. They've got to get the running game going, and there should be some gaps to run through now. And they'll give him another shot here on the ground. And this is going to be a commander's first down as the tackle made at the 35-yard line. Work to do here to avoid falling to one and one, but this is first and ten right now. One back in the backfield, he'll get the carry. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. It's a first down for Washington on a pickup of 11. That one definitely helps as they try to push the ball down the field here, trailing early in the third quarter. And even though they're trailing, not abandoning the running game. People may call it an adjustment. I think it's just much more sticking to what works for you and continuing to have faith in it. And the running game is starting to pay off. Throwing on first down. Rouse. Throwing middle, and it's complete. And the tackle going to be made at the 38. Well, he's had the interception woes in this one, Charles. And that time, a little bold to throw it into double coverage, but he beat the double coverage. Yeah, but I admire that he still will challenge defenders downfield, even though the ball's been in jeopardy a few times in this game. A nice ball there against multiple defenders, and they advance it downfield. From Falcon territory now, here's first and 10 at the 38. Dixon trying up the middle. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. From the gun, he'll hand this off. And a short gain down to about the 33. They follow up the gain of five by only getting one there on second down. Here's the seventh play of this drive. This is third and four. Back to throw. Rouse. Over the middle, it's complete. And he's going to have a commander's first down by about a yard as they find a way to convert there on third down and five. On 
on first down. Rouse. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. One back in the backfield, he'll get the carry. And this time he's going backwards. So after the no gain on the last attempt, here they get him behind the line. Continues to be a struggle for this offense and this home crowd. They're growing a little restless here in the second half. And I think they've just got to look at how they're trying to move the football. Yeah, you want to run it, but maybe you spread it out, maybe some swing passes that can take the place of runs and give you a little more space. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Looking to throw. Rouse throwing left side here, and it's complete. Touchdown, Washington. A great play there. 28 yards. And the Commanders have got it back to within a score. And that score there makes us a much more manageable deficit. Agreed, because before that touchdown, this looked like this was about over. Instead, they've got hope. They're back in the game. They feel better about themselves, and now they have a chance to make some more plays. And now the Washington offense going to stay out there and go for two. They'll look to throw toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. I don't know about you, but I can't wait for a few years of two-point tries and see what the data tells us because a lot of teams want to throw the ball in this situation, this time unsuccessfully. I just wonder if maybe running the ball might be the way to go. With it moved up from the three to the two, you would think maybe a few more attempts at running. I, I think stats over time may bear out that running the ball will at least be the equal of throwing it in that situation. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. So here are the Falcons to take over on offense. They were winners a week ago over the Bears, and they lead things here as well as they start this drive with a first and 10. Throwing to start the drive. Rich. Wilson's got it complete. That'll go for a gain of seven, and that'll bring up second down. Back to throw. Rich, and this throw incomplete. And the defender all over him that time, and it's going to lead to third down. From the gun on third down. Rich, and he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. It goes as a gain of eight, and it moves the chains. First and 10. Rich, he finds his man complete. It's Ferguson. And they'll get this down to around the 47 yard line. To throw on second down. Rich. And they're going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at Washington's 36. Looking to throw. Rich. Slant pass. It's Ferguson. And able to get this to the 24-yard line. They began the play at the 12. It's also a pickup of 12 for the first down. And they'll run on the inside handoff. And a good run as he manages seven yards down to the 17. A good run got seven on first. Here's second and three. And they'll keep leaning on the running game. Back to the ground. And this won't be enough to pick up the first. A gain of two, third and one. 
And he'll get him inside the 15 down to the 14 yard line. They only get two there, but on third and one, that's all they needed to keep the drive alive. And while it didn't work very well on that play, defenders on third and short know it's going to be a quick read. And really, the quarterback's just going to turn around and hand it off. So that way, you're able to diagnose the play and try and get to the point of attack. But when you're dealing with a fullback, it's hard to knock him backwards. Here's a first and 10 at the 14-yard line. to throw. Rich is pass caught at the four. And the Falcons are going to be set up with a first and goal on a pass play that moves them all the way down to the one. I think he has to be saying to himself, how did that not wind up in touchdown? Remember, you just need the tip of the ball to cross the plane. It's not going to get there. And they're going to get to him. A sack. Sack back at the nine-yard line. Not the first and goal play they drew up. Multiple defenders in to bring him down to the ground. Well, surprise, surprise. First and goal at the one. No quarterback sneak. No running play. They decide to throw for it, but the pressure got to him quickly and put the quarterback down. Now from the nine, here's second and goal. One back in the backfield, he'll get the carry. And from the nine, they get this to the five-yard line. This has been a long drive. You gotta figure a field goal would be a letdown. Can they convert now on third and goal? Buying time to his left. And he'll take it into the end zone. Touchdown, Atlanta. It's their quarterback. His third touchdown of the game and fifth on the year as his guys are able to extend their lead. They were looking to pass the ball there, but they forgot to account for the man with the football. Yeah, I can hear people right now saying, well, why don't you have a spy in your defense, someone who will dance with him and go where he goes? Well, oftentimes, if you utilize a spy, you've taken away someone in coverage as well. And oftentimes, the spy, not as athletic as the guy he's trying to keep up with, so he gets defeated anyway. And he turns third and goal into a touchdown. Point after, right down the middle. And it gives his guys a 12-point advantage. So that one, a 13-play drive in total. And it's finished off with a five-yard touchdown run. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. Johnson won't return this, and the football will come out to the 25. Another drive coming up for this Washington offense. As this offense comes back out here, Charles, they're trailing in this ball game, And they've been on the sideline for a while. They did score their last time out, but they just had to watch that long, sustained drive. So we'll see if they can shake the rust off. Yeah, and that's always a, a question that you have when you have to come off the bench after having sat there for a long time. Are you ready to go? Are you loosened up? But even more so, are you mentally alert and ready to put your best product out there? On first down, they'll go to the ground attack. And he'll get it out a couple yards shy of midfield at the 48. A good gain on first, has him set up with second and just a couple of inches now from the 29. And they'll give him another shot here on the ground. And he'll get it down to the 47 here. Four yards the pick up, first down. It's nice every now and then in this game not to see people overthink it. Just hand it to the old reliable guy, let him pick up the first down. From Falcon territory now, here's first and 10 at the 47. Looking to throw, Rouse. It's a short one here, complete to the tight end. And he'll be brought down inside the 40-yard line. And here's a handoff out of the gun. And he'll get it down on the play to the 37. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Operating from the gun, Rouse. It's a short one here, complete to his tight end. Complete. 
Looking to throw on second down. Rouse. And he'll be taken down here just shy of the 30. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Back to throw. Rouse. Now they set up the screen. That's complete. And he'll lose yardage. Brought down at the 32. This will wind up a loss on the play. And it'll be fourth down. Well, you can see what they wanted to do. They wanted to set up the screen there, but it got blown up. It's hard to run that play if you're not getting a lot of pressure at the quarterback because the space doesn't open up. They were able to read that one and slow it down and stop it before they could get a first down. The commander's going to bring out the field goal unit. He was true on his first. This a tough one from 49 yards. Oh, they flip it to the kicker. He looks like he's going to throw it. The trick play works. He's got the first. On first down, they'll go to the ground attack. And he'll manage to pick up about four. It's second down. to get to the line to run another play. So we will switch ends as the third quarter has come to a close. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. To throw on second down, Rouse. And he's got it. Got his man on the end round, complete. And he'll be marked down right at the 15-yard line. Line of scrimmage, the 15. It's first and 10. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. Quick hitter here, it's complete. So give him five yards there on the pitch and catch, and that'll make it second down. Now he has now hit number 500. Charles, that is his 500th NFL career catch. Definitely worthy of applause, but I remember when 500 meant you were going to the Hall of Fame. Nowadays, in today's football, 500 puts you on the path, a significant number. And running room hard to come by here. He gets it down to the eight. It'll be a pickup of a couple, and it leaves him with a third and three. Looking to throw. Rouse. Touchdown! From eight yards out. And the Commanders have made it a one-score game again here in the fourth. He's definitely making his mark early in the year from the tight end position. Two games played, two touchdowns. And from what I've seen on tape so far this year, his ability to use the fakes well as a body in the red zone, they should continue to look his way through the entire season. Now for the point after. And this is back to a five-point game. That one was an extended drive. 14 plays all told. And it was polished off by a Washington touchdown. Washington kick team back out there now as they will send this one away. This taken in at the goal line. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. Atlanta now coming out on the field. They've been rolling the last couple of drives, each ending in touchdowns. So this game is flipped. They were down. Now they're up with the football. We'll see how they handle it. Can we get a spy on the headset now between the head coach and offensive coordinator? Because they've been in attack mode. Had to get back into the game. Now they have the lead. Do you stay on the attack? Or do you dial it back a little bit to try and protect this lead? Well, my cop-out answer would be somewhere in the middle. I think it's going to be a fine line, is it not? I think you're exactly right. But I do think if they can stay aggressive and keep them on their heels, they'll be best served that way. There's a throw over the middle. It's taken in by his tight end. And they'll get it all the way up about five yards shy of midfield. Eighth catch for him now. He's been a big factor. And it's a first down. But when you hit him on the move like that, and he's able to get into open field with a full head of steam, oh boy.